Let me share something with you that could completely transform the way you experience life. The most fundamental rule in the universe is this. You get exactly what you expect. No exceptions. Now, I know that might be hard to grasp at first, but stay with me. Your life, every single moment of it, is a direct reflection of your expectations. It's not random. It's not luck. The quantum field, this vast energetic intelligence we all live in, is constantly responding to the energy you project, the thoughts and emotions you radiate. Let me give you an example. Imagine you love playing tennis and you've got a big match coming up, but here's the catch. Your opponent is really good and somewhere deep down, you're convinced you don't stand a chance. In fact, you're certain you're going to lose. What happens? No matter how skilled you are, you've already collapsed the infinite possibilities into one outcome, the one you expect. The quantum field aligns with that belief and you lose, confirming exactly what you believe to be true. But let's flip the script. Imagine you believe in yourself. You can see yourself winning. You feel it in your body. You visualize it happening. In this new state of mind, extraordinary things start to unfold. Maybe you play the best game of your life. Maybe your opponent falters or something unexpected shifts the momentum in your favor. The universe responds to the energy you're putting out. You've already won the match in your mind, and the quantum field mirrors that reality. The moment you decided to expect success, the outcome shifted. That's how powerful your mind is, and how deeply connected you are to the field of infinite potential. So, if you're ready to shift your reality, stay tuned. Because in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to align your intentions with the outcomes you desire. To truly change your expectations, you first need to understand how the game of life really works. Every action you take, every decision you make, starts with a single thought. That thought is the spark, the ignition before any movement can happen. Now, if you're with me on this, and you believe, like many of the greatest minds in history, that your thoughts create your reality, then ask yourself, will your future be designed by a vision of what's possible or will it be anchored by the memories of your past? Let's go a bit deeper. Picture this. You wake up in the morning. Your brain, a storage center of the past, begins to pull up files, experiences, situations, and challenges you've faced before. Most people start their day thinking about their problems, which are always connected to familiar people, places, and events. What are they really doing? They're flipping the switch to revisit the past. These memories stir up emotions, which are simply the echoes of past experiences. You see, thoughts are the language of the mind and emotions are the language of the body. So, when you start your day replaying those old memories, you're essentially programming yourself to live in the past, creating a future that's predictable, familiar, and the same as yesterday. Most people find themselves trapped in this cycle, what I call a biological loop. Here's the key. Your body, your subconscious mind, doesn't know the difference between an emotion triggered by an external experience or one created entirely by thought. When you keep feeling the same emotions, they start to control your thoughts and suddenly you're stuck, reliving the same emotional state over and over again. And that, my friends, is how people live in the past while their bodies and minds are still dragging that past into the future. Now here's the real wake-up call. Most of us wait for a crisis, a health issue, a breakdown or a loss to shake us awake. But biology is redundant. When you keep thinking the same thoughts, you're reinforcing the same neural circuits in your brain. Over time, those circuits become hardwired and your brain becomes a machine that defaults to the same thoughts, the same emotions, the same chemistry. That's why people stay stuck in feelings like guilt, unhappiness or fear. Even though those feelings are uncomfortable, they're familiar and the familiar for many feels safer than the unknown. So, how do your thoughts link directly to your destiny? Here's the truth. 95% of those thoughts are unconscious programs, running in the background without you even noticing. That's where the real work begins, becoming aware of those thoughts and choosing new ones consciously. When you start expecting the best, when you start believing in your own potential, you begin to rewire those circuits. Your life is not just a series of random events. It's a reflection of your deepest, most consistent expectations. Remember, the universe, the quantum field, doesn't judge. 
It simply responds to the energy you send out. So start expecting greatness. Start believing in your power to create and watch how your reality begins to shift. The power is already within you. It's time to unleash it. The first step to transformation is simple. You have to become aware of those unconscious thoughts that are quietly running your life. The moment you observe your thoughts, something profound happens. You're no longer the program itself. Instead, you become the awareness behind the program. And while this shift might feel unsettling, like flipping on a light in a pitch dark room, this discomfort is where true change begins. The urge to escape through distractions, whether it's TV, your phone, or mindless habits, can be strong. But this journey requires you to face that discomfort head on. That's the process of moving from the known, the predictable, into the unknown, where all possibilities exist. Now, here's the important question. What thoughts do you want to fire and wire in your brain? By directing your attention toward new, empowering thoughts, you begin the process of rewiring your brain's circuitry. You're not waiting for life to change so you can feel joy, gratitude, or abundance. You are creating those emotions from within. You are the generator of your own wealth, your own happiness, your own sense of wholeness. When you teach your body emotionally what your future feels like, your body begins to live in that future reality, right here, right now. The science behind this is clear. Your environment signals your genes. When you embrace elevated emotions, whether it's joy, gratitude, or love, you send signals to your genes that begin to reshape your body's structure and function. Your body, quite literally, starts to embody the future you've envisioned, and it all begins with intentionally creating these elevated emotions. Here's a key insight. When you become deeply familiar with emotions like gratitude, abundance, and freedom, and you make it a daily practice to generate the chemicals that correspond to these feelings, you start walking through life as though your future has already arrived. You stop chasing it because you're living it now, emotionally and chemically, and that's when everything shifts. Why is this so important? Because in this process, you begin to evolve into a new version of yourself. You shed the old layers of guilt, lack or unworthiness that once defined you. Your personality, how you think, how you act, and how you feel, is what creates your personal reality. So to change your life, you must first change the thoughts and emotions that define your personality. The journey starts by becoming conscious of those unconscious programs. Notice how you think. Pay attention to the words you speak. Become aware of the emotions you carry with you each day. Most people are unknowingly carrying guilt, frustration, or resentment simply because it feels familiar. It feels like them. But to break free, you have to step outside of yourself and see those patterns objectively. This transformation is a process, step by step. A new thought leads to a new choice, and that new choice triggers new behavior. That new behavior creates a fresh experience, and with that, a new emotion emerges. This new emotion then chemically teaches your body what your mind has intellectually understood. And when that happens, your body embodies the truth. Change is not only possible, it's within your power. It starts with a thought, and it ends with a new reality. It's easy to get stuck in old patterns, and here's why. The stronger the emotion connected to a specific event, whether it's betrayal, trauma, or loss, the more you focus on the external cause of that emotion. Your brain locks onto that moment, creating a neurological snapshot that embeds itself as a memory. These powerful emotional events don't just fade away, they shape your brain, wiring those experiences into your neurology. But here's where the real challenge begins. If you can't regulate your emotional response to those events, if you let that initial chemical reaction continue unchecked, it becomes harder for your body to return to balance. That lingering emotional state, what we call the refractory period, can extend beyond the event itself. If this lasts too long, what was once an emotion becomes a mood, hanging around for days, maybe even weeks. So why do we stay stuck in these emotional states? It's a simple cycle. The stronger the emotion, the more your mind fixates on the cause. And before you know it, you've conditioned your body to live in the past. 
You wake up every day searching for that familiar emotional state, allowing it to persist, and over time, it evolves from a mood into a temperament. If it goes on long enough, it becomes a personality trait, a part of how you define yourself. People unconsciously memorize themselves this way, continuously reliving the past. And when they tell their story, they reinforce the belief that change is impossible, often embellishing or distorting what actually happened. The secret to breaking this cycle? It's all about where you place your attention. Your energy flows where your attention goes. If you can dial down the intensity of those negative emotions, you can reclaim your attention, break the energetic ties to the past, and regain your power. Here's your task. Start observing your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors without judgment. Become aware of the unconscious programs running your life and begin the process of rewiring your brain. Every new thought, every conscious choice, and every action you take in alignment with your vision is a step toward transforming your reality. The more you practice this, the more you will find yourself living in the future you want to create instead of being trapped by memories of the past. This is how true change happens, by making a conscious shift from being defined by what has already happened to being driven by the vision of your future. To make this shift, you must become aware of your thoughts, especially those automatic, unconscious choices that have kept you in a loop. By diminishing the intensity of negative emotions, you free up energy to focus on new, empowering possibilities. Your expectations are not just fleeting thoughts, they are the blueprint for what you attract into your life. They shape the script that influences the outcomes you experience. Mastering your expectations is the key to manifesting a life that aligns with your highest potential. Remember, the power to transform your life begins with a simple choice, where you place your attention. Let's break this down in a way that makes sense. When your expectations are small, you're effectively placing a limit on what you think is possible in your life. It's like trying to drive with the brakes on. You're moving forward, sure, but you're not getting anywhere near your full potential. To shift this, you need to aim higher. Think about expanding the boundaries of your imagination. Instead of expecting the ordinary, challenge yourself to expect the extraordinary. When you make this shift, you're opening yourself to a whole new realm of possibility. Your brain is wired to create the reality you expect. If your expectations are limited, that's what your brain will produce, small results. But the moment you start expecting big, life-changing things, your brain kicks into gear, working to make those a reality. Think of your expectations as the tracks for a train. If the tracks lead to a modest station, that's where you're headed. But when you lay tracks to a grand destination, that's where the train will go. The power is in setting the course toward bigger and better outcomes. Here's the key. Be aware of your expectations. Pay attention when you're thinking small and gently redirect those thoughts. Start picturing yourself achieving something beyond what you've done before. This isn't just wishful thinking. It's sending a powerful signal to your brain, rewiring it to align with your higher expectations. Changing your expectations is like upgrading the software in your mind. It's a conscious choice to believe in your own unlimited potential. When you expect greater things, you're creating a magnetic force that naturally draws them toward you. This is a fundamental shift in the art of manifesting. Now, let's go deeper. Imagine the quantum field, a vast, intelligent sea of energy, always responsive to your thoughts and expectations. It's not some distant concept. It's intimately connected to your consciousness. When you have expectations, it's like casting ripples into this energetic sea. The universe, this quantum field, responds. If your expectations are small, the field says, all right, small it is. But when you raise the bar and expect greatness, the field responds with, got it, let's make it happen. The universe doesn't play favorites. It responds to the energy you're putting out. This is a co-creative dance where your thoughts and expectations influence the very fabric of reality. This isn't just about thinking positively. It's about aligning your energy with the future you want to create. Think of your expectations as magnetic signals. If you're signaling mediocrity, that's what you'll attract. But when you turn up the volume and expect the extraordinary, the quantum field responds in kind. Now, here's what's fascinating. When you expect something, 
your brain gets the message loud and clear. It begins to fire neurons, creating a neural network that aligns with those expectations. This is where the magic happens, not just on a metaphysical level, but right inside your brain. Your neural circuits start to map out the path toward what you expect, making the extraordinary feel not just possible, but inevitable. And that's when real transformation begins. To manifest bigger, greater things, you've got to get in sync with the rhythm of creation. Your expectations aren't just thoughts floating around, they're like cosmic orders you're placing with the universe. The quantum field doesn't judge, it responds. It's always mirroring back to you what you believe is possible. When you consciously elevate your expectations, you step into the role of the master conductor, directing the flow of energy in this grand symphony of creation. You declare, I expect abundance, I expect joy, I expect success, and the quantum field adjusts itself to play that tune in harmony with your desires. Here's what's truly powerful. It's a two-way street. Your expectations influence the quantum field, and in turn, the quantum field shapes the reality that unfolds before you. It's a partnership on a universal scale, and you, my friend, are standing at the podium, orchestrating the magnificent symphony of your life. When you expect the extraordinary, you create a magnetic pull that draws it to you. So, dream grand, expect the best, and watch how the universe waltzes with your elevated expectations, bringing the extraordinary into form. This is the dance of creation, and you're leading the way. You have the power to transform your reality simply by changing your thoughts and beliefs about who you are. Think about it. How many times have you told yourself you're not enough? That someone else is more capable, more successful, more deserving? It's time to flip that narrative. It's time to step into the truth that you are the best, not because you're better than others, but because no one else can be the unique expression of life that you are. Now, I can hear the doubt creeping in. Maybe you're thinking, but Joe, I'm not the best at anything. But here's the secret. It doesn't matter if you're the best by some external standard. What truly matters is how you see yourself and the energy you bring into the world. When you begin to act as if you're the best, something remarkable starts to happen. Your body shifts, your voice strengthens, and you approach life with enthusiasm, not fear. The world responds to that energy because your brain doesn't know the difference between what's vividly imagined and what's real. When you begin to consistently act as if you're the best, your brain rewires itself to believe it. And when it believes it, it starts looking for evidence to support that belief. Suddenly, opportunities that were always there become visible. You begin to take risks, speak up, and stand tall, because you're aligned with a new sense of self. This isn't about arrogance or putting others down. It's about recognizing your inherent worth, the unique gifts you bring to the table, and the undeniable potential that resides within you. When you truly embrace that, you stop comparing yourself to others and start focusing on becoming the best version of yourself. Think about the people you admire most, the ones who radiate confidence and purpose. Do they walk through life full of doubt and hesitation? Of course not. They act from a place of belief in their vision and their abilities. And by acting as if they are the best, they often rise to the top of their field. Now imagine yourself stepping into that mindset. Imagine waking up each day with an unshakable confidence in your abilities, approaching every challenge with excitement, knowing that you are here to offer something valuable to the world. Picture yourself going to bed each night, deeply satisfied, eager for what tomorrow will bring. That version of yourself, that's not a distant dream. That's you, right now, if you choose to embrace it. Now don't misunderstand me. Acting as if you're the best doesn't mean you stop learning, growing, or improving. Quite the opposite. When you believe in your potential, you're more open to growth because you know that feedback and challenges will only make you better. You're no longer afraid of failure because you see it as a stepping stone toward even greater success. But this shift, this way of thinking, doesn't happen overnight. It's a practice, and like all powerful practices, it requires repetition. Every time you catch yourself thinking, I'm not good enough, or I can't do this, I want you to pause, breathe, and replace that thought with, I am the best, I can handle this, I've got what it takes. In the beginning, it might feel awkward, maybe even a bit strange, 
But remember, you're literally rewiring the way you've been programmed to think. Stick with it, and soon those new thoughts will feel natural. Your confidence will grow, and your actions will start to match the new self-image you're cultivating. Think about that area of your life where you've been holding back. Maybe it's a promotion you've been afraid to ask for, a business idea you haven't pursued, or a relationship you haven't fully invested in. Now, imagine approaching that area of your life as if you were already the best. What would you say? How would you act? What decisions would you make? This isn't about pretending or faking it till you make it. This is about tapping into the greatness that already exists within you. When you act as if you're the best, you send a powerful message to your subconscious. This is who I am. This is what I'm capable of. Your subconscious listens, and it begins to filter your experiences through the lens of this new belief. You start to see the world differently. Opportunities that were invisible before suddenly appear, not because they weren't there, but because your mind wasn't tuned in to see them. This shift doesn't just affect your internal world. It ripples out into your life in ways you can't even begin to imagine. People start to respond to you differently. They sense your confidence, your competence, your energy, and you become magnetic. But remember, acting as if you're the best doesn't mean ignoring your weaknesses or challenges. It doesn't mean you stop striving for growth. Instead, it means you face challenges from a place of strength, not fear. When you hit a setback, and you will, because that's life, you don't let it define you. You don't spiral into self-doubt. You look at it as feedback. You ask, what can I learn from this? How can I use this to become even better? This mindset helps you bounce back faster. It keeps your energy high, your motivation strong. Because when you truly believe you're the best, you know that setbacks are temporary. They don't reflect your worth or potential. So think about those goals you've set for yourself. Think about the dreams that have been sitting in the back of your mind. Now imagine approaching them with the belief that you are the best person to achieve them. How would that change your daily actions? How would that transform your life? When you act as if you're the best, you stop waiting for permission. You stop needing validation from the outside world. You step into your power, you write your own story, and you become the creator of your own success. When you truly start believing in your own worth, something beautiful happens. You don't become isolated or disconnected from others. In fact, it's the opposite. When you know your value, you can genuinely appreciate the success of those around you. You celebrate with them, not out of competition, but from a place of inner security and abundance. You see, when you're secure in yourself, collaboration becomes natural. There's no need to prove yourself or outshine anyone. You're already shining in your own way. But here's where it gets really interesting. Acting as if you're the best means taking full responsibility for your life. It's about stepping out of the victim mentality, letting go of excuses, and recognizing that if you're the best, then you have the power to shape your own circumstances. You're not at the mercy of external forces. You are the creator of your experience. You become the driving force behind your life, steering it with intention and clarity. And this mindset shift doesn't just impact your thoughts. It directly affects your body, your health, and your overall well-being. When you act as if you're the best, you naturally want to take better care of yourself. You begin making choices that reflect the highest version of you. You fuel your body with nourishing foods, prioritize rest, movement, and practices that reduce stress. And here's something truly fascinating. Science backs this up. Studies show that when you hold positive beliefs and expectations, your immune system strengthens, your cardiovascular health improves, and your entire biology starts to shift. When you act as if you're the best, you're literally reprogramming your cells. Now, think about the people who rely on you, your family, your friends, your colleagues. When you step into your greatness, you're not just doing it for yourself. You're setting a powerful example for those around you. You inspire others to rise to their own potential simply by being your authentic, empowered self. It creates a ripple effect of positivity and possibility, your confidence, your energy. It becomes contagious. 
Yes, there will be people who misunderstand this mindset. They may see your confidence as arrogance, or they might try to pull you down, urging you to be realistic. But remember, their reactions stem from their own limitations, not yours. When you truly believe in yourself, you don't need their validation. You're so grounded in your own worth that criticism doesn't shake you. You can take feedback with grace, but it doesn't define you. And this level of self-belief allows you to be fully present. Think about it. When you're doubting yourself or constantly comparing your journey to someone else's, you're not truly engaged in the moment. But when you know, without question, that you're the best version of yourself, you're able to give your full attention to whatever you're doing. You're more productive, more creative, and more focused. Think back to a time when you were completely in the zone, fully immersed in what you were doing. In those moments, there was no doubt, no hesitation. You were simply being your best self, effortlessly. That state of flow becomes so much more accessible when you consistently embody the belief that you are the best. Now let's talk about fear and doubt. Acting as if you're the best doesn't mean you'll never experience those emotions. Fear and doubt are part of the human experience. But the difference lies in how you respond. Instead of letting fear stop you, you use it as a signal that you're stretching, growing, and stepping out of your comfort zone. And when doubt creeps in, and it will, you don't let it take root. You acknowledge it, then firmly remind yourself of your worth and capabilities. You refocus on your strengths, your past victories, and your unwavering belief in yourself. This mindset doesn't just make you more resilient in the face of setbacks. It allows you to see failure not as a reflection of your worth, but as valuable feedback. Think about the most successful people you know. They didn't avoid failure. In fact, they probably failed more than most. What sets them apart is their ability to bounce back, to learn, and to keep moving forward with a deep belief in their potential. And this extends into your relationships too. When you know your worth, you naturally attract healthier, more positive connections. You set boundaries with ease, and you're not willing to settle for less than you deserve. You stop seeking external validation, and as a result, you build deeper, more genuine connections with others. In your professional life, acting as if you're the best can open doors you never thought possible. You're more likely to speak up, take on challenges, and ask for what you deserve. Even if you don't get exactly what you want right away, your confidence is noticed. People begin to see you as a leader, someone who takes initiative and believes in their abilities. When you're not held back by doubt, you tap into your creativity and innovation. You're more willing to take risks, to think outside the box, and pursue bold ideas. You trust your instincts because you know your perspective has value. And finally, acting as if you're the best means you invest in yourself. You understand that being the best is not a static destination. It's a journey of continuous growth and discovery. You seek out new knowledge, skills, and experiences that expand your potential. You're willing to push your boundaries because you know that's how you evolve. Now take a moment and imagine what it feels like to fully embody this mindset. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and visualize yourself walking through your day with complete confidence. Feel the energy of someone who knows their worth. Notice how your posture changes, how your head lifts a little higher, how a sense of calm and certainty washes over you. That feeling is always available to you. It's not something you need to search for outside of yourself. It's a choice you can make in every moment. Of course, there will be times when doubt or insecurity arises. That's part of being human. But with this mindset, you're no longer a prisoner to those emotions. You recognize them, and then you choose to return to your truth. The truth that you are the best, not because of what anyone else thinks, but because of who you choose to be. The key difference lies in how you respond in those pivotal moments. Instead of allowing them to derail your progress, you can acknowledge these feelings and consciously choose to realign with your belief in yourself. This shift opens the door to authenticity. When you genuinely believe in your worth, there's no need for pretense. You can be transparent about your strengths and weaknesses, admitting what you don't know, all while trusting in your capacity to learn and grow. Embracing this mindset encourages a holistic approach to self-care. You come to understand that being your best self isn't just about achievements. 
It's about overall well-being. You prioritize activities that nourish your spirit, whether that's through meditation, exercise, time spent in nature, or engaging in hobbies that spark joy. This mindset profoundly impacts your stress levels. When you trust your ability to handle whatever life throws at you, challenges transform into opportunities rather than threats. You're less likely to feel overwhelmed because you have faith in your capacity to navigate difficulties. Consider how this could revolutionize your approach to goal setting. When you act as if you're the best, you set ambitious goals, unencumbered by limiting beliefs. Even if you don't achieve everything exactly as planned, you recognize that valuable lessons await along the way. This mindset fosters presence in your relationships. Without the need for constant validation or comparison, you can truly listen and connect with those around you, offering genuine support from a place of abundance. Acting as if you're the best doesn't diminish your respect for others. In fact, it cultivates greater empathy and compassion. When you recognize your own worth, you can more easily celebrate the successes of others, drawing inspiration rather than feeling threatened. This belief can also lead to greater financial abundance. When you know your value, you confidently ask for what you deserve, negotiate effectively, and seize entrepreneurial opportunities. Even when facing setbacks, you trust in your ability to recover and thrive. Now let's clarify something important. Acting as if you're the best doesn't mean becoming complacent. It's not about reaching a final destination and coasting. It's about consistently showing up as your best self and continually expanding what that means. Reflect on the areas of your life where you've been holding back, perhaps a creative project you've been hesitant to start, a relationship you've been afraid to pursue, or a career change you've been contemplating. How might approaching these situations with the mindset of being your best self shift your experience? When you act as if you're the best, you stop waiting for the perfect moment. You realize that the perfect moment is now and you possess everything you need to begin. You trust your ability to learn and adapt as you progress. This mindset also builds resilience in the face of criticism. When you truly believe in your worth, you can receive feedback without it shaking your core. You discern constructive criticism that fosters growth from negative remarks that serve no purpose. Surrounding yourself with supportive, inspiring individuals becomes second nature. You gravitate toward relationships and environments that align with your positive self-image, and in turn, you encourage others to step into their own greatness. This mindset shift profoundly impacts your physical health. When you believe you're the best, you make choices that reflect your commitment to well-being. You prioritize sleep, nutrition, and exercise, not out of obligation, but because you recognize you deserve to feel your best. Think about how this perspective could alter your approach to challenges and setbacks. When you act as if you're the best, failures don't signify inadequacy. Instead, they become valuable learning experiences that enhance your growth. You maintain your enthusiasm and determination, even when things don't unfold as expected. This mindset fosters creativity and innovation. Free from self-doubt, you're willing to think outside the box, experiment, and take calculated risks. You trust your instincts and your unique perspective. Acting as if you're the best doesn't isolate you from community. Rather, it strengthens authentic connections. Engaging with others from a place of genuine interest and mutual respect replaces neediness and competition. Now consider the legacy you want to leave behind, the impact you aspire to make in the world. When you act as if you're the best, you're more inclined to pursue goals aligned with your deepest values and aspirations. You're not satisfied with merely getting by or meeting others' expectations. You're driven to create meaningful change and leave your unique mark. This mindset also enhances your adaptability in the face of change. When you believe you're the best, you don't fear change. You embrace it as a chance to grow, learn, and evolve. Unexpected events don't throw you off course because you trust your ability to navigate whatever comes your way. Finally, reflect on how this could transform your approach to learning and personal growth. When you act as if you're the best, you're more likely to seek new knowledge and skills. You're unencumbered by the fear of looking foolish or making mistakes. Instead, you approach learning with enthusiasm and curiosity, knowing that each new piece of knowledge brings you closer to your best self. 
This mindset shift can also deeply influence your spiritual or philosophical outlook, allowing you to connect more profoundly with your purpose and the world around you. When you genuinely recognize your worth and potential, you begin to contemplate the deeper questions in life. You open yourself to exploring your purpose and understanding your role in the vast tapestry of existence. You realize that being your best isn't merely about personal success. It's about contributing positively to the world around you. Acting as if you're the best also enhances your mental well-being. You understand the importance of managing stress, processing your emotions, and maintaining a positive outlook. You're unafraid to seek help or support when necessary, knowing that even those at their best can benefit from guidance. This mindset enables you to be more present and mindful in your daily life. When self-doubt and the opinions of others no longer hold sway over you, you can fully engage with each moment, savoring the simple joys and cultivating gratitude for all you have. Consider how this transformation might affect your relationships with family and friends. When you act as if you're the best, you bring your authentic self to each interaction. You're not trying to prove anything or seek approval. Instead, you offer your time, attention, and energy freely. You listen deeply and empathize, coming from a place of inner security rather than neediness. This mindset also enhances your leadership abilities, whether in your career, community, or family. When you believe in your worth and capabilities, you inspire those around you. You lead by example, demonstrating what's possible when you fully embrace your potential. Acting as if you're the best doesn't mean you become inflexible. In fact, it often fosters greater openness to different perspectives. When you're secure in your worth, you can engage in respectful dialogue and adapt your views when compelling evidence is presented. Moreover, this mindset fuels your creativity and innovation. When you believe you're the best, you're more willing to think outside the box, challenge conventional wisdom, and pursue bold ideas. You trust your instincts and unique perspective, unafraid to stand out or swim against the current. Now reflect on your daily habits and routines. When you act as if you're the best, you naturally gravitate toward practices that support your growth and well-being. You make time for activities that energize and inspire you. You establish boundaries that protect your time and energy, prioritizing self-care not as an indulgence, but as a necessity for holistic well-being. This mindset also cultivates resilience in the face of setbacks. When you believe in your worth and capabilities, you don't let temporary failures define you. Instead, you view them as valuable feedback and opportunities for growth. You bounce back more quickly because your self-worth isn't tethered to external outcomes. Acting as if you're the best transforms your relationship with time. Instead of feeling rushed or overwhelmed, you approach your days with purpose and intention. You focus on what truly matters, releasing commitments that don't align with your values. You become more productive, not by pushing harder, but by working smarter in harmony with your natural strengths. This mindset shift can also enhance your financial abundance and security. When you believe in your worth, you're more likely to ask for what you deserve and negotiate confidently. You pursue entrepreneurial ventures and investment opportunities with conviction. Even in the face of financial challenges, you trust in your ability to overcome and create prosperity. Think about how this perspective could reshape your approach to health and fitness. When you act as if you're the best, you no longer view healthy habits as chores. Instead, you see them as a way to honor your body and mind, fueling your energy and vitality. Your motivation stems from a desire to feel and perform at your best, rather than from fear or insecurity. This mindset also allows you to express your authentic self more freely. When you truly believe in your worth, you no longer conform to others' expectations or pretend to be someone you're not. You can showcase your unique personality and passions without fear of judgment, embracing your authenticity as a core part of being your best self. Acting as if you're the best doesn't make you selfish. Rather, it often enhances your empathy and compassion for others. When you're secure in your own worth, you can easily recognize and celebrate the worth in those around you. You're inspired by their success, more likely to lift others up and collaborate rather than compete. This mindset shift can also deepen your spiritual or philosophical outlook. 
when you believe in your potential, you're more inclined to ponder life's big questions. You're open to exploring your purpose and considering your place in the universe. You realize that being your best is about making a positive impact. Now think about the dreams you've hesitated to pursue or the goals you've been afraid to voice. When you act as if you're the best, those aspirations no longer feel out of reach. You recognize your power to turn them into reality, unencumbered by self-doubt or fear of failure. Instead, you're propelled forward by a strong belief in your capabilities. This mindset also enhances your engagement in relationships. Without the constant need for validation or comparison, you can listen and connect genuinely with those in your life. You offer support and encouragement from a place of abundance, not scarcity. Finally, acting as if you're the best clarifies your values and priorities. When you believe in your worth, you're less likely to compromise on what truly matters to you. You make decisions guided by your inner compass rather than external pressures, aligning with your authentic self. This mindset shift transforms your approach to challenges. Instead of seeing obstacles as insurmountable barriers, you view them as opportunities to prove your capabilities, learn, and grow stronger. You tackle difficulties with a problem-solving mindset, confident in your ability to find solutions and alternatives.